Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bhapna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to see DWA core binaries. So basically MuleSoft provides the utility that is known as DWA core binaries. So what other things we will going to see in DWA core binaries like how we can convert a message into base64 and from base64 to the original message. Also we will see how we can convert a message into hexadecimal hexadecimal and from hexadecimal to the original me, me, original message format okay so let me move to uh, playground before moving to playground let me go through each and every uh, function from the mules of documentation so for transform base 64 string into binary value okay so from base 64 so basically transform the base 64 into the binary value from hex so hex transform a hexadecimal string into the binary uh, value so basically take one parameter like hexadecimal string whereas base64 always take the base64 as a parameter whereas like uh, to base64 basically uh, like it can take any image or any binary data and convert it into the base64 string we will see those example whereas hex is always take like uh, contain in the binary format and converted that into the hex format so let's start with first uh, with the hex format hexadecimal so basically I can declare one variable and I can say uh, something like that text okay and I can say or simply you know uh, no need to put double quotes also just a minute I can say this is a data wave I have to put double quotes transformation okay so now I want to convert this into hex hexadecimal so I can say to there is a function called hex and I can pass text as a binary because it was not able to identify the hex uh, function so what we have to do we have to import a library I can say import star from DW core I can say binaries okay so now it has been converted text it is converted into the a binary format you can see that here right this is the binary format so let me or either instead of uh, using the star you can simply use 2x no need to uh, import everything right simple now what we have to do we have to convert uh, this particular binary hex uh, string into uh, back to the original format so I can say variable hex you know I can just copy this here and I want to convert this into back to the original format so I can say from instead of text I can simply say hex okay but hex is not able to recognize because we are importing only two hex I can say from hex so my hexadecimal string is converted into the original string okay so this is how you can like convert your data into hexadecimal string and back to the original data or original uh, string right now next thing next thing what I will do instead of like hex I will convert this particular text I will remove this hex from here okay and I will use this text to convert into base 64 so there is a function called to base 64 so instead of hex I can pass text as binary okay to base 64 so why it's not able to identify because either you can use the star so you can see the your string is converted into base 64 format or either you can simply use to base 64 so it is recommended not to import everything just import whatever you want okay so I'm importing that now I want to like convert this back to the original format so I will copy this and I can declare a variable base 
64 control V and I can save from base 64 and I can pass base 64 here but it's not able to recognize because we have to change in input so now the base it is converted into the original data okay but we will see some more examples so how I can convert so generally when we have to use the base 64 uh, you know when you want to convert anything into base 64 so basically if you want to transfer any attachment or any like images file you know any PDF file so it is recommended to use you know convert those into the base 64 and you know send it to the third party or any end consumer or anyone like you know any destination so what I have I have this image I want to convert this image into base 64 string I will copy this URL okay so, and apart from that I will go to my data view editor so there is a function called I will remove all those things I don't require so I can say variable I can say image is equals to there is a uh, function called read URL under that I will pass this URL and I can say this is the format in application slash octet stream okay so I will use 2 base 64 and I can use 2 base 64 here I can use image okay so you can see your image is converted into a base 64 string right so this is the image I am reading from some uh, URL okay and I like using uh, to base 64 I am converting this into image so basically in same way you can convert your PDF your any file you know in the base 64 before sending to any destination or any you know yeah so this is how you can convert and same like you can like now if you want to convert that back to image so just copy this whole string okay this whole base 64 string okay and use from base 64 okay function uh, to uh, convert that back to its original, original image right so these are very uh, important functions uh, very useful you know uh, like when it comes to file processing like you know when it comes to image processing uh, when you want to send any attachments you know so like uh, when you want to send any uh, like uh, any request on HTTP uh, if you are sending any HTTP request and if you want to send the attachment in the most of the case it's send in the body in the form of you know base 64 like there might be other ways also but yeah so you can make use of base 64 also so this is how you can use base 64 and the hexadecimal functions provided by mule DW core binaries library okay I hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and subscribe to my video thanks for watching